Hi guys, look what I've got. My old work PC. So I just got this recently after I paid uh, the required fee to have it since the company has already gave, given me a new one. So this particular HP is ProBook 645 right there. The company has swiped it clean removing all the drivers and the software software so it's now bare bone with nothing in it except for the bios so uh i open it i can actually install a windows 7 pro there i have the license key but what i will do is i will install this instead with a windows 10 professional and i'll show you guys how how to do it and how to do it very cheap the First thing you need to do is to make an installation USB and to do that you need to go to the Microsoft website right there and download this tool. In this uh, website there's also that you can also read through the procedure which is quite straightforward. The next thing you need to do is to go to the support, software support or whatever PC that you have. For my case I went to uh, HP and I searched for the particular model which is this one here and using a Windows 10 64-bit system so I have downloaded everything now and the third thing you need to do is to go to eBay and search for Windows 10 Pro right there and uh, look for whatever you want to buy yeah so let me choose this one here yeah, yeah. J just go to the purchasing process and after you've done that they will email you the uh, code yeah, the software code which you will, you will then use after you've installed the, the software. Almost instantly, you will receive the license key right there. It depends on your situation. You can upgrade an existing PC or create an installation media uh, if you want to install it on another PC. So I'll be using the second case right here. And it uh, yeah, enumerates the, the procedure. Just click download tool now. And then it will prompt you to either run or save. I have now case. downloaded the media creation tool. For this particular procedure, you need to have an admin right to the computer. And you need to have a thumb drive with at least 8 gigs of uh, memory capacity. So let's create the Windows 10 installation USB. Just run the tool. Go through accepting the terms and condition in the next one here. And then select if it's an upgrade or create a new installation. Yeah, for new PC. So check the second, select the second one, and then yeah, select the language, the edition, and the architecture, and then it will go through the process. Yeah. All right, there you go. So the Windows 10 installation disk in, is in one USB and the ProBook drivers are in this other USB. To start the installation process, put the Windows 10 USB into one of the USB ports. Turn on the PC and then you should see later on the Windows logo popping out. In the succeeding procedures, just select the appropriate to, to your specific condition like the language, the keyboard, etc. Then the software will start as your setup is starting. You will input in here the license key, but if you're upgrading, you can say I don't have a license key, and I believe the computer will actually skip this procedure. I have inputted the license key or the product key in here. Just accept the license terms, choose your preference or what's uh, applicable to you. This will be the next screen and again choose what's applicable to you. It will go through and continue with the installation process. Just uh, follow it. 93%, 94%, almost there, almost done and there you go. 
the computer is rebooting good to see the HP logo there and now we see the Windows logo cool getting devices ready here you go 12% Windows logo again uh, this stage here the installation is pretty much complete the next phase is setting up how to use Cortana Signing into the network or signing in with your Microsoft account, etc. etc. I have successfully installed Windows 10. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Have a great day. Bye bye. Thanks.